So Panther is born out of customer requests that have been coming into MyaSound over the last few years. And one customer in particular really challenged us uh, to look at our portfolio. Uh, Major Tom, who are responsible for the Ed Sheeran account, knew that Ed wanted to take a new tour on the road. And that tour was going to be a stadium tour, but they wanted to cut new ground in what was possible with structures and also with green credentials going on tour. We really came to live talking to Chris he needed to come up with a design for the Sheeran Stadium sitting around and asked me, you know, what did I think? So sat down and looked at what Chris had in his inventory and he needed some more. The show design for this show was everything being very minimalistic and very small and very sort of compact uh, and, and actually appearing like it was not hanging from nowhere and, and very discreet. In order to do the, the coverage required and get the, the energy that we required to get to the audience, we were hanging an awful lot of PA and it looked even bigger next to the amount of production value that wasn't there. Uh, so we knew at that point that it was time to start thinking about finding another box that we could use that would be smaller, lighter and more compact. I came up with the idea to ask John if there was a new product coming out from them that Chris should be looking at for his tour. John asked me, what would you like? I said, well, I like the power of a Leo in a lion size box. And their requirements were really tough. It had to be lightweight. It had to fit in with this new, incredibly stunning visual design for the show. But it also had to have all the power needed to be a proper stadium system. It had to amaze the audience. It had to deliver the dynamism and the excitement and the thrill. So we started on the project we called Panther, which would be incorporating these ideas into this product. We had lots of Zoom calls, you know, about it, you know, the, what we could do, or what they could do rather than what they couldn't be done. We ha have really good feedback back and forth, and if I come up with some idea, they're really receptive to it. And John knows more than anybody else, but he's still willing to listen. We had, with both Leo and Lion, really solid starting points. So as soon as we started kind of experimenting with, this is the general box size that we want. Oh, wait a minute, what if we actually kind of extended this a little bit? What if we played around with the shape, which means you could have a longer horn, a slightly wider mouth? That really was exciting because you could take a lot of the Meyer Sound history and how we've had so many years of doing great things and use that as a base to then creatively change things like the horn or the shape of the cabinet or the grill to make this new product. I generally don't like to change technology unless there's a reason. Since we're going after weight, which was a big uh, issue from customers, digital is definitely lighter. But what else, if we're gonna go to digital, what could that bring us that we don't have with analog besides lightweight? This has been a completely back to square one approach. We're talking about a, a 360 show with crowd on all sides. So real estate on the floor and sight lines are paramount. To be able to run a system of this size with a, a separate amplifier based package would just take up a whole lot, a lot of real estate on the floor that doesn't exist. From a sonic perspective, uh, it's, a, it's a long throw box like Leo, but with a wider, wider horizontal coverage which means we can cover more seats with less arrays. It also simplifies the cabling and the infrastructure needed to run because we're only talking power and audio signals and not big looms of speaker cable. Logistics play a huge part. So the fact that it's less boxes needed to come into the venue, they take up less space, they're lighter and easier to handle, that all plays, uh, plays into making our day-to-day our -day schedule more manageable. It was great to finally get your hands on the new box and find that all of the the really positive characteristics that existed before have remained and what has been improved is, is really valuable details like being lanyards on pins, like the wheelboard stacking, like there being forklift holes on speaker wheelboards so that that practical day-to-day -day can all be done that little bit easier. We can travel more speakers in a, in a smaller package, it takes up less truck space, less weight to put, to put in the air every day. The sustainability has become a real big issue for us uh, and we're doing everything we can to, to act in, in a sustainable manner and one of those things are to reduce the amount of trucks that we have on tour. Given that we're traveling all over Europe and the longer term it will be going abroad and the environmental impacts of all of that really adds up. I believe that this product will be a chance for us to change the industry. It, I really believe that. This is gonna be one of the biggest stadium tours 
not only of this year, but ever to my knowledge. Yeah. The amount of tickets that sold out within 30 minutes was over a million. And the fact that everybody has been so ready to get back to especially stadium tours. I mean, there's nothing like seeing an artist that you really love, that you've been waiting years to see in an arena. I mean, knowing that those units are gonna leave for a tour really helps kind of re refine the design process and focus it. In the end of the day, what it's all about is reproducing music as good as possible. Then if you can then have it packaged in a way and you can have new technology involved in it. And that's a game changer because nobody else has done that yet. To be honest with you, I genuinely thought when we approached them that they would say, no, uh, this is not something we can do in the timelines. And considering the, uh, the condition that we found ourselves in with, with the world being the way it has been for the last few years, I really thought that it would be something they wouldn't be able to, to take on for us, but they did.